Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, and I just wanted to hop on here because I got some stuff to talk about, and I wanted to show it all with, to you at once. <laughs> but, uh, okay, first is bag update. I'm going to have some bags in the shop tomorrow, Wednesday, January 11th, at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I will also have some amigurumis in the shop as well. So, I'm going to quickly show you the bags there are going to be multiples of them i just can't remember off the top of my head how many and they don't have their drawstrings yet i'm going to do that later um, today but i'm just going to show you the bags real quick and then i'm going to talk about crochet stuff <laughs> but uh so i think there's going to be two of these like moon phases pretty cool i believe there's two of these ones as well pretty floral print there's three of this one with the shoes which is pretty cool i got a lot of threads to trim so if you see any threads i still have it trim, uh went through and trimmed all the stuff this is um uh, this oily slick looking print there's only one of those there's one of this one with the dogs i still got put strings in them there's two of these ones i'm pretty sure there's just one of this little mermaid one so cute there's two of this one. This is actually my favorite out of these these prints. And I still got like three yards of this fabric. So I'll make more bags eventually. But it's paper dolls. I thought that was so cute. They're little outfits. There's I think two of this print. It's like a Paris print. There's just one of this print. Mermaids. There are three of this print with cats. In the windows. <laughs> There's two of this, and this is like a chicken driving a tractor that's full of yarn. <laughs> There's two of those. <clears throat> There's two of these ones. I have a, I had a lot of this fabric. I've been making bags for a while out of that. <laughs> There's just one of this print with the cats. So cute, I think. There's two of this print. Paw prints. And lastly, there are two, I think, of this print. Coffee. So that's all the bags that'll be on the shop tomorrow, Wednesday, January 11th, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then the Amigurumis are all the C ones that I've been working on lately. So this little orange seahorse, this clownfish, <laughs> this tail's a bit of there. <laughs> Um, the mermaid that I just showed the other day. A pink squid. The purple seahorse. So cute. A blue teal color uh, squid. Another clownfish. I made two of the clownfishes. <laughs> A blue fish. turtle. <laughs> so cute. Turtle, turtle. They got fuzzes on them from just being in this bag, I think. I'll clean them off. And there's two little octopuses. So there's a pink one. Yeah. And this two shades of purple one. So all those will be in the shop tomorrow. Wednesday, January 11th. 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But anyways, uh, yeah. I'm going to hop into the crochet stuff. So, I had a comment asking about a Valentine's Day blanket that was behind me in my last video. And it's one that I made in 2020. Well, I think I started in December and I finished it in January 2021. And it is a free pattern by Yarnspirations. Um, and it's called Lily Sugar and Cream Heart Dishcloth and Blanket. You make squares and then it shows you how to connect them. So, here is my blanket for like a better up close look of it. If you weren't around back when I first made it. It is uh, three by three squares, so there's there's nine all together. Uh, I wish, like in retrospect, I had made it bigger. And I'd love to go back and maybe make another one of these one of these days. I just don't have the right color yarns right now in the right quantity to make a bigger blanket. But I do love this blanket pattern. I think it's so pretty. And I pull it out every Valentine's Day just to drape over something. <laughs> and uh, I made mine with worsted weight acrylic yarn. It's all Red Heart. Um, I think it calls for cotton yarn. But, you know, if you made the dishcloth, you would want it to be cotton. But as a blanket, I just made it acrylic. But the pattern is a free PDF download from their website. I'll have it linked below in the description if you want to check it out. 
Okay. The next thing I want to talk about, <laughs> this is going to be linked down below. This is for people who have Ravelry accounts. Um, there's a designer called Tara Colling. She does a lot of really cute amigurumis and things. And she gives away her patterns all the time. And right now she has a coupon code where you can get a f one of her patterns for free. The coupon code is no snow. So just N-O-S-N-O-W. And you can use it to get any of her patterns for just one of them for free. I used it to get the little gingerbread book. Well, I can't remember what it's called. Playbook or something like that. It's like, like a little house that looks like a gingerbread house, but it's like a little book. <laughs> Anyways, I used it to get that. So I'll leave her our shop linked below if you want to um, go over there and pick you out a pattern for free of hers and use that code. But I suggest if you have Facebook, follow her page um, because she gives away her patterns all the time. She's always giving away. I don't think I've ever bought one from her. They've all just been with coupon codes. So I wanted to hop that, you know, I wanted to say that real quick so, because I seen that on Facebook and I went and got me one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about is, um, the safety, the, no safety, yes, the eyes my sister has been, made me, that my sister made me. <laughs> so I still have a blue pair and a yellow pair that I can use. And she's working on more. A lot of people have asked if she's going to sell these. She is planning on it. She's making up some and then she's figuring out her prices and shipping and all that stuff. And then I don't know if they're going to be on my shop or if she's going to make her own shop. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. But they are the same ones that I used recently on these two um, seahorses. I just hot glued them on there. Um, you could attach them by sewing them. Hot glue, fabric glue maybe. Sometimes it's six turns, sometimes it doesn't. I've had you know iffy moments with fabric glue. What? So she is going to start selling them. She just got to make up some and then figure all her pricing and how she's going to package it and all that stuff. So I will let you guys know when she does have them. And she's also looking at different designs, different sizes, and also just like backings for safety eyes. You know how sometimes we use like felt and then a safety eye through it to give it like a backing color. Uh, she's working on all that kind of stuff. So these are uh, stiff felt, I think is what it's called, mixed with vinyl. It's got vinyl overlay. The white and pink, I believe, is vinyl. Um, but yeah, they're adorable and so far so good. I wouldn't recommend them for anything on kids, for things for kids three and under because of choking hazard. If they did peel that off, they could put it in their mouth, you know. But for uh, older kids or just, you know, for people who have, like have an amigurumi sitting around like myself, uh, they're adorable. So I will update you as she progresses in her figuring out of all that stuff. <laughs> okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about is... Uh, Kim at the Crafty Nomad, I have my notes over here, because <laughs> I wanted to write down everything so I didn't forget. Kim, Kim at the Crafty Nomad, um, she has done the seasonal, let's see here, it's seasonal yarny YouTube hop, I think the last two years, maybe three years, and, uh, I tried to participate, participate last year, I think I only did the spring one, and then, you know, with the baby and all that, things just got out of hand and I didn't do the rest of them. Are you okay? <laughs> so, she is doing it again in 2023. So I will link her channel and the video where she discusses it and anyone can join in on it. And in her video, she explains everything. And in her description box, she has everything written out. So I will link her. I'm going to try to do it again this year. So the first one is due. It will be a spring project due by spring, which is March 20th in the Northern Hemisphere. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you'll be doing your fall one, I believe. Because your, your fall starts the same time our spring starts. Ma'am, are you good? <laughs> so, uh, but she does discuss all of that in that video. So I suggest going and checking out her channel and watching her video and reading her description box. But I'm going to give you a sneak peek. This is the yarn that I'm going to make my spring project out of. I have four cakes of it. It is Karen Cotton Ripple Cakes. And let's see here. So number three, light and 100% cotton. 491 yards each. I have four cakes of these. So um, I have an idea of what I want to make. That is springy, but, you know, I, in March here, it's still pretty chilly until usually the end of May <laughs> or mid-May. End of May is when it starts warming up. So our, our early spring is still really chilly. So um, I'm going to use the cotton yarn and make it a lighter thing, but it's also going to be like a snugglier thing. <laughs> but I just wanted to, like, show you the yarn that I'm planning on using for my project. And I got plenty of time to work on it. That's another good thing about this uh, crochet along is because you only have to make four projects all year for it. And you have a couple of months in between each of them to get them done. So you have plenty of time to plan ahead and to slowly work on your, your project. But this is the sneak peek for mine. And it's going to be something made out of this cotton yarn that is yellow. I think it's pretty. But yeah. So 
my last thing I have to talk about is an uh, upcoming whip that I want to make for my fair this year. My county fair is usually at the very end of August into the very beginning of September. It usually starts within the last few days of August and it ends the last, you know, the early few days of September. Anyways, I plan on entering for the Afghan category, <laughs> if I can finish it, my Christmas blanket that I made last year. Not last year, 2021. I made it December 2021 into January 2021. The only thing I need to do is align it with fleece, 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 yeah, it's fleece. <laughs> uh, I just haven't done that. I need to sit down one day and do it. Um, so I'm going to enter that in as my Afghan because it's not done yet, so it still counts. Um, but for the baby Afghan, I was perusing patterns the other day and I came across this one and it's called Summer Garden Flower Baby Blanket. And it's a free pattern by Crafting Happiness on their website. It is a paid-for pattern on Ravelry. It's probably a PDF, I assume. Um, but you can get it for free on their website. And it's made up of hexagons and half hexes uh, that you put together and then you put a board around it. But some of the hexes have flowers on them. I'll pop up a picture. Uh, and I just think it's so pretty. So I want to make that for my baby afghan for it. But I want to make it in different colors. Like the picture has different hues of pink. But I want to, if you go on to Ravelry and look at other people's projects that they made, you know, there's a ton of different ones on there with different color schemes. And I want to make one with like maybe a rainbow color scheme. I haven't really gotten that far. But, and also the pattern is written, I think, for DK weight yarn. And I will use worst away because that's what I keep on hand. Are you good? <laughs> but anyways, I think that's everything I want to talk to you about. Valentine's blanket, bags, and Grimmies, the free pattern. Uh, the blanket, the eyes, and the seasonal thing. Yeah. <laughs> so everything I discussed that involves a link will be linked below in the description box. So check it out. And um, I'll follow up about my sister's eyes when I get more information about that. Yeah. But I'm going to hop off here and get this edited because I'm going to have to cut out a few bits. <laughs> but, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Whip Wednesday. I'm actually, I haven't started my whip yet. I'm going to start here in a little bit. Because I have an idea of what I want to do. So I'm going to start it. <laughs> Don't forget the shop update tomorrow. Bags and amigurumis at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. January 11th. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.